It's exciting. Specifically where you live, gamer? What what changes? I saw there was a big patch. Some sick solo games that really suck you in. Yeah, if I find a good solo game, I don't want to play anything else. Mm -hmm. And then I play that game until I've destroyed it. And then I go back to playing Hunt. <laughs> All right, let's begin. I already kind of jumped in and just set up some graphic settings. So we'll see if I did a good job or not. Hopefully it runs well. Enter a pilot name. Suffering. Northern New Hampshire. That's right. You will have a great view of it. Yeah, is that happening today? Or that's coming up? I'm on the West Coast. I don't know if that's going to matter for me. Yo, Ace Combat. <laughs> Oh. On the eighth. Okay, so five days. Activating cerebral coral control device. What's up, fuzzy? Human C four six two one has awakened. Time to get to work, six two one. Time to get to work. You won't get a full view. That's a little tragic. Damn, this game looks good. Now, activate the AC. They might overload the phone and Wi-Fi towers. With like putting stuff on Instagram. Got back home, went to College Career Center by arrived. Is it closed? Oh, shitty. I'm trying again tomorrow. <laughs> nah, this game. This game looks bad. <laughs> Holy moly, we're flying. Going so fast. Well, that sucks you wasted that time, Fuzzy, but hopefully you'll get there at a good good time tomorrow. Hopefully. Your position is grid 135. Got my Tim Hortons Off target, water cup. Catapult ahead. Close the gap. Easy. Main system activating combat mode. All right. Jump is space. I have a sword. This area is really small in food stores and restaurants and small places that aren't set up to deal with thousands of people. Hmm. You really think there's going to be that many people? Is it because you're right on the ocean or something, Kimor? Do I have infinite flying power? Cool. I won't come, so that's negative one person. So kind. Okay. Alright. Some actions consume energy and are disabled when energy is depleted. Energy replenishes rapidly when grounded. Uh, 
automatically targets on-screen enemies. When there are multiple enemies, the enemy closest to the center of the screen will be prioritized. Move the camera to change priority target. Uh, okay. Nice. Wow, this <laughs> 360p. Uh, target assist keeps your AC oriented towards the target. Target assist is uh, middle mouse button. Right shoulder weapon is E. Left hand weapon is left mouse. Okay, got it. Rockets. Missile launcher equipped to the right shoulder of the AC is capable of multi-lock. Allows you to attack multiple en enemies simultaneously by holding down the input for that weapon. Okay. I messed that up. Nice. Okay, I didn't really do a good job of missiling, but that's okay. It could have been a lot better. Oh man, my mech looks dope. Use repair kits to repair your AC and recover armor points. Repair kits can be used up to three times per mission, but cannot be used in rapid succession. Uh, okay. Your AC's taking damage. Patch it up. Nice. Okay, Two so you get... Kits remaining. Oh, okay. You only get three per mission? See the contaminated city down there. That's where you're landing. Access the catapult. Dude, I really like the way they did the controls in this game. It feels pretty good. Like, feels really good, actually. What's up? This looks fucking crazy. Scavenge the AC Rex ahead and find a valid mercenary license. Find a Merc license? Okay. You'll need ID to operate. Oh. King. I like that the trees actually give you like kind of an idea of the size of the mech. It's kind of a nice like size comparison. Instantly accelerate in any direction, helping you to evade attacks or swiftly close in on enemies. Uh, okay. So. An AC. Where the hell did that come from? Affiliation unknown. Got it. Shut it down. Gorillas from the Liberation Front. If we get in the way of our work, eliminate them. Ooh, dope.
salt boost to move rapidly in the direction that the camera is facing or to rapidly approach targets. Control. S during boost to cancel. Okay. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Okay, let's go. Let's go this way first, I guess. What's over here? I don't know if there's much of a point in exploration. It's a FromSoft game, so... You would think so, but... I'll just go to the markers. I don't want to get lost. guy is uh, unalived. Extract the pilot data. I'll analyze it from my end. Connecting. License code extracted from an AC wreck in the contaminated city. Contains pilot's registration data. Uh, license expired. This one's already expired. Damn. Damn. All right, we'll find a new one. I feel like we need to upgrade our energy for more mobility. That seems really relevant in this game. Oh, nice. All right. Dude, I feel like such a badass. This is like very badass. Holy shit. That's the PCA's planet side force. Keep a low profile. We don't want them breathing down our Oh, necks. you ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, I feel like I'm just like this little starter budget mech and I I'm just like tiny and that's and driving this little rust bucket. Should go over that way. Need energy. Expires in 12 hours. Okay, that's better than nothing. Locked on. I would presume that water is not good for mechs. But I don't know if these guys seem to be walking in it just fine. Oh, 
Okay, one more spot to check. <laughs> Get wrecked. Ow. Missiles. I think we're good. We'll see about this license. It's fifteen days. It's pretty good. Well, one more rec, six, two, one. sheesh. Transmitting marker. Go and check it out. While standing on a vertical catapult, form a jump to quickly reach higher places. You can use that vertical catapult to get some altitude. Hmm. I love how you can just destroy anything, too. Alright, space. Oh, cool. That's it. Try accessing the wreck. I feel like I'm about to get attacked up in here. I definitely should not have done that. Okay, that's all I got for repairs. Oh my god. Nope. Oh no, I think I'm gonna die. Just like shoot missiles and dodge. Oof. Not good. Not good. I'm almost dead. I do not got them. I'm almost dead. I've got like no health left. No!
explosive attacks have blast radius. Even if you get dodged the initial hit, easy to get caught by the blast if you remain on the ground. Evasive aerial maneuvers are a good way to handle attacks that are difficult to dodge. Oh, quick boost boosting. Okay. Shit. All right. Checkpoint. Wow. This is pretty wild. I like it. It's kind of hard to like. That's it. Try accessing the rack. Not get blown up. I got my repairs back. Registration number RB twenty three. Rank fits the bill. Call sign. What? Looks like they were on to you after all. I'm in no mood to pick a fight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. I'll take it out now. They won't have enough to ID you. Use your mobility in the air to get clear of explosions on the ground. God damn. God, dude. Uh. Well, this could be going better. It's pretty fun so far, Kimar. It's pretty fucking fun. AC is from the the people that made Dark Souls on Elden Ring. Oh god. Help. What the fuck? Don't stop shooting. I have to work on my maneuvering. I think I'm in a good spot right here. We got this. My cat seems interested in it. There's a lot happening on the screen for kitties. Oh no, oh, I almost died again. Oh, that was close. Confirmed. Heavy combat helicopter is down. Wow. That's all for our work here today, 621. I was so close to being dead there. Uh, a license code extracted from the AC wreck in the contaminated city. Contains pilot's registration data. Rank F. Deserved. License expires in three days. Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. Raven. Nice. Tutorial mission down. The pawns in Dragon's Dogma 2 are still stupid. Mine were going into homes and smashing shit and then stealing everything else. <laughs> what? Was that intentional design? You got Dragon's Dogma 2? Nice. PS5? Or did you go with PC? Repair costs, yeah. Yeah, we got damaged. Coral, a sublime substance. Severely damaged. Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, 
Core was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. It's always some substance, they isn't it? it the fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. PS5, I think you will like it. I think so, too. I mean, I thought Dragon's Dogma was pretty good. However, on Rubicon, the embers continue. I played it like more than a decade after its release, though. Would inevitably return. I'm sure the new one is a lot, a lot better. To stoke the fire. Yeah, my pawns were fucking psychopaths. Nice. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Might, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. Thank you. Happy to be here. Combat simulator. Suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. Okay. You stand to benefit regardless. All right. Following feature is now available. Sortie. Following feature is now available. AC design. A make AC cosmetic adjustments from the paint menu. This includes color and texture settings. That's cool. Oh boy. We gotta go with stream colors. Holy cow. This is nuts. First things first, though, we got to get our colors down. Colors first, colors first. There's like weathering and shit. This is crazy. I want to be like kind of clean looking. This is freaking wild. This is freaking wild.
Okay. Maybe I could like design a color. Oh, there's patterns too. Jesus. All right, let's do. Rip through this. Gonna, it's gonna be worth it. We're gonna look really good. We're gonna look so good. Confirm. God damn, that's a lot of color choosing. There's probably an easier way to do this and someone will hopefully come into chat and be like, oh, why don't you just do this? <laughs> and I wouldn't mind if that happened. I wouldn't mind if that was a thing. Very amorous. Very amorous. Jeff, I'm making stream colored mech. What do you think? Beautiful, right? Also, hey, Jeff, what's up? What's up, bro? If there's a way to copy the same colors across all parts somehow, if that's what you're asking when I popped in. Yeah, I just, I have no idea how. You'd think that would be a thing, right? Because this, this is taking me a little bit to make it look good. I think there would be like an easy sort of hit this button and away you go. Very, it's coming along. It's very bubblegum color. This is my bubblegum colored. Mech. I just finished the first mission. I died once. It hurt my ego a lot. But I'll get over it. <laughs> I was like, damn you from software. All right, let's do the back. Some blue up in there. Pink highlights. Um, need some more blue in that one. It could be rough early on. Yeah, I figured it would have its rough moments, and that's okay. I mean, it's pretty intuitive. The controls feel really good on keyboard and mouse. I didn't have too much problems, like, picking it up. felt pretty like pretty intuitive right away a little bit of weathering on my right leg just for just for fun skis 
Um, oh, you can do entire frame or all units. Okay. Save, edits, and quit. All right, looking good. Decals, apply emblems in your possession, user created images. Oh my lord. I like the little witch's hat or shark fin, I guess it's a shark fin. Wow. Image editor, oh my lord. Oh, wow. Okay. Save and load AC assemblies. Order to load AC duty. Must currently own all parts and other elements included. Well, let's save this. Sky 1. Um, That was it, I think. Yeah, it must have been something like that. I don't think I have a lot of stuff to choose from here. Yeah. So, okay. Well, that takes care of that. At least we have the right colors. Um, training. Okay. Learn to pilot an AC and master fundamental battle techniques. Complete the exercise used to earn standardized training parts. So I was going to go through all this because apparently it rewards you with some parts. So I figured I would just run through all the combat sim stuff. Land shots on moving enemies. You must pull the trigger while they're within lock-on range, where target tracking is active. All right. I forgot about the target tracking thing. Bam, 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 bam. How's your day, Jeff? What's up? Do all the side combat-y stuff. Okay. Oh, it's Jeff. I've got a bone to pick with you. Just got back from work and I'm exhausted. Oh, were you in office today? Weapons with magazines will automatically reload when the magazine's ammunition is depleted. Manually reload before engaging the enemy to minimize the risk that your attacks will be interrupted by a reload. Oh. Okay, that's kind of weird. Use missiles and other homing rounds. Keep the enemy on screen until lock-on completes. Then fire. Some missile weapons are capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously by holding the input for the weapon. Learned all about that already. Got him. Uh, melee equipped to the left hand require a risky close range approach, but have high attack power impact. They are useful for destroying shields. Left left is a chain attack. Hold for a left hand charge attack. I love the feeling of the melee in this game. It's so like, you hit so freaking hard. Backstab, backstab. Is this not Dark Souls? All right. Detect uh, nearby enemies or containers that hold AC parts by scanning. Any objects that were detected by the scan will be temporarily highlighted. If an enemy is detected, you will be able to achieve lock on even through walls. Nice. Man. 
melee is awesome and very useful in many places where I keep forgetting to use it. I love that you can do like the, uh, what is it called? The assault charge into a melee. I can't hit you with this bone I found in Twitch chat though. Lucky Jeff. Uh, machine gun, the Ludlo. Ludlo. Assembly. Nice. Reduce load. All right. Um, that's it for training for now. Deploy AC test on a run. Combat mode active. Oh, interesting. Use AC test to test the functionality and behavior of your AC. During the test run, open the pause menu to alter AC assembly, create enemies, and so on. Oh, dope. So it's just like a literal... It's like a literal trainer bot. Dope. Did you ever use this feature much, Jeff, when you were building out your ACs? this for your air conditioners, Jeff? Dude, air conditioners? These things probably heat up so hot. Nice. I use it a few times. It's mostly useful at the start of the game. Uh, assembly. Oh, you can change stuff on the fly, too. That's very cool. Um... What's a... What's a tetapod? Oh my god. Alright. Good enough for me. I will continue to be very vague for reasons. That's fine. Replay missions you have previously completed from your replay menu. You can also review your rank for each mission from this mi menu. Achieve an S rank rating. You must complete the mission without retrying from a checkpoint. While also destroying a large number of enemy t targets and minimizing incoming damage. Time taken and ammunition consumed. Um. So you do get a reward if you redo it? I don't think I technically have a uh, rank yet. Reason? This game sucks. I quit after the first mission. I told you it was good at... It was good as an April Fool's prank. You got me good. I believed you. Check incoming jobs and sortie on missions from the missions menu. Complete missions to progress the story. Destroy all Rubicon Liberation from artillery installations. Hmm. Well, let's go do a mission. Got a job for you, 621. This is the open call from the Balaam Group, one of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Attention, all independent 
Two points I needed more money and loved a few of the missions so much I ran like 10 times, mostly in the game plus, but a little in my first playthrough too. That's always fun when it's like you want to run the missions again. Alright. Robots. Robots. Robots is. It an opportunity to prove yourself. Address those mercenaries. <laughs> You'd probably love Devil May Cry, Jeff. You like ranks. You don't get too OP by doing it compared to revisiting areas and souls. I think I would like Devil May Cry. Yeah, Devil May Cry, it's like if you want to get the good ranks on stuff, you got to do perfection. See data. Also, what's up, Josh? Hey. How are you, mate? Sortie. The client doesn't care who does this job. We got to play more Baldur's Gate, Josh. As long as it gets done. Yo! Marky Mo! What's up? What's up? What's up? Main system activating combat mode. All right. Commence mission. We're just starting up a mission here on Armored Core Six. Hope you guys had a good time over there. Great to see you all. Debbie, how are you? Hello. How are you, Mark? Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Nice. I haven't got around to playing that yet. Not yet. Hard, so I don't think it was too exciting. Oh, jeez. I was like, I'll spin a stick. More like helicopter. Am I right? Helicopters? How dare you make puns? Oof. Uh oh. These artillery have quite a bit of health. Uh, thank you, Jeff. 100 biddies. Appreciate it, man. Maybe I should reload my gun. Because I just, like, immediately did not have any bullets. 90% of the items are crap. The story is interesting. Oh, so it's like Borderlands. That's exactly how I felt about Borderlands. I was like, everything is trash. Why is it all trash? Blow it up. Okay, nice. Head to the final site. Keep up the good work. Dude, my uh my mech's looking good though. Not gonna lie, that's some drip. That is like some drip. <laughs> do you still have a lot of stuff left to do in the game, Jeff? Oh, fuck. That hurt. That hurt. Dude, let me move. Jesus. Dude, they're in such, like, defensive positions. Oh, my God, man. 
What is happening right now? Oh my lord. Dude, I'm getting fucking murdered. I feel like I'm not even damaging this thing. No repair kits remaining. Oh. Dude, get behind the building. I have no repair kits. Mark, you reminded me of the Bard's Tale, the action RPG. Have you listened to the songs from it? Oh, yeah? Has it got some good music? Dude, what is happening? Does this thing have, like, a shield? Like, what the fuck? Dude, I don't even know if I'm damaging this thing. They never let you get OP. True. Last mission. I played, I failed 10 times in a row, and then Liza P came out. Ah, Liza P took over. You're not, because you're bad. Well, I just started playing. Oh god, okay. That's one down, right? Maybe that's the trick. Maybe we gotta like hit it from a certain angle. I don't know. <laughs> Overwhelmingly bad ratings. Oh, here we go. All right, now we're making now we're making sense of the world. Also, what's up, code? Hey, buddy. All targets destroyed. All right, we barely pulled that shit off, dude. Ow. Still getting shot at over here. COD Modern Warfare 3, bracket 2, 2023. Overwhelmingly bad. Is that is that what it's rated? Last mission I played, I filled ten times in a row, and then Liza P. Liza P was really good though. Definitely a game worth ditching a game for. This is a notification from All Might. The Keep forgetting to come back system. to this, so you playing it is a great reminder. Registration number RB twenty three. Call sign Raven. Your return to mercenary activities has been acknowledged. Restoring access to the parts shop. Oh, nice. Feature unlocked. Uh, purchase AC parts sold by various corporations and factions from the buy menu. More parts will be available for purchase as you progress through the story or meet certain conditions. Ooh, what's that? Bazooka. Pulse shield? Wait, so that increases my AP stability and system recovery whilst reducing my weight and EN load. Am I seeing this right? Do I want less weight? Damn, what is that head? What is the flat head so weak? Oh, because the weight on it is... Oh, so that increases my weight. Increases weight. Hmm. Okay. 
sell stuff. What else is new in here? Oh, okay. Got it. See design assembly. Assembled an AC. Nice. Gaming. Parts shop. Wait, what else is new in here? Was there other stuff that was new? Oh, these? Okay. V tells you the impact of the stats. Wait, V? Who's that? I love this game and I love Liza P just slightly more so my obsession with P took over. Mmm, P. Yeah, this part shop seems cool. Play the Battlefront collection instead of Assassin's Creed. It too has overwhelming ratings on Steam. I watched uh, some videos on that game. Looks pretty good. Looks like a lot of fun. A lot of people are loving that one. A lot of people's childhoods weren't completely destroyed by that release. Some weapons are capable of charge attacks, which exhibit different properties and behavior compared to regular attacks. Target assist on off, use right hand weapon, right hand charge attack, cancel charge. Kaya! Uh, attitude control system of a craft can be compromised by accumulated strain from the impact of repeated attacks. ACS overload results in a vulnerable state called stagger, which time the afflicted craft will be immobilized and susceptible to critical damage. Hold to right hand weapon charge attack. Ah, oh, cool. During stagger, all incoming attacks are treated as direct hits and deal much more damage. Oh, cool. So you can, like, charge. You can, like, blam. Lamb. Okay, that's cool. In the part jobs, V, I think. Okay. ACS strain inflicted on enemies resets after a brief interval, but a portion of that strain will remain. Um. Weapons vary in the amount of accumulative strain they inflict there with explosive impact generally leaving the most ACS strain. Blam! Attacks on enemies that are unaware of your presence will inflict greater ACS strain than usual. guys are definitely aware of me. It is what it is. They're dead now. Wait, there's a guy left over here? <laughs> it doesn't kill him. Son of a bitch. All right. Yeah, I love the way you can just skate around. It's so satisfying. Shields equipped to the left shoulder can be deployed to reduce incoming damage in ACS strain. Oh, shit. Nice. Oh, my God. Okay. That's a whole new world of stuff that you need to do. I didn't even think about having to use Q yet. Shield output is maximized for one to two seconds after deployment. 
blocking during the initial guard window can help to minimize incoming damage and ECS strain. Hold Q in response to warning initial guard. All right. These sons of bitches, though. So there's like parrying, Jesus, sort of like parrying, like uh, guard counters. Assault boost for rush attacks, small arms that can be used during movement will inflict greater impact and impact you receive will be reduced. Small arms that can be used during movement will inflict greater impact. Uh, okay, so assault boost is good because more damage during assault boost. And less damage received. I'm not sure I even mastered half of this stuff. God, I need to go back and get good. Yes, it definitely seems like they have offered s several mechanics that require me to get good. Okay, we got some more new stuff. Something Curtis, high speed linear rifle. Um, got a new weapon. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Let's do grid 135 cleanup. Yeah, I, I won't be mastering this on day one, that's for sure. Surprising amount of mechanics. I mostly just got stubborn and beat my head against a wall because souls. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I don't think uh, you're going to see some high-level gameplay quite yet. It's not like souls. This is not Dark Souls at all. I was going to be like, is this just Dark Souls robots? But no, I think... They tried to keep it similar to the older ACs to please fans. I mean, it doesn't even feel like a From Software game, but I never played AC. I played Armor Core 4 or 5, whatever one was on PS3. And I, I didn't play it for very long. Okay. Away we go. I hope it did well that enough that we get another one. I don't know. How were the sales? What were the sales on the game? We're gonna jump and then we're gonna do this. Bam! That guy does five damage. Just 
just looking it up, let me know. I'm curious. Let me know. Okay, nice. Oh, whoa, what is this game? We're playing a little armored core today there, Siege. It's um, from the developers of Dark Souls, but it's like mech warrior style, mech combat sort of shit. Hey, Robotnik, what's up, man? We just started tonight and we're ass at it so far, but it's fun. It's fun as hell, actually. Last September, it got up to 1.3 million on Steam. That's pretty darn good. Just on Steam alone? Two to three times on consoles, I'd guess? Okay. Yeah, it depends. Sometimes games do better on PC than they do on console, but... I think there's a lot of AC fans out there, Jeff. I think it's like a pretty loved game. Sometimes it'd be nice, because like the view distance sometimes in this game is a little tricky. It'd be nice to see that they have shields. Sometimes it says shield, but... I'm doing pretty well, Robotnik. How are you, man? I love this game. Yeah, you played this already. All right, we slayed that job, dude. Howdy to you as well. So good. I'm actually, it's the developers of Kingfield. You're wrong, streamer. Get good. Yeah, that's what we need. We need a new Kingsfield game. Slow, clunky, first-person melee dungeon crawling. That's what I want to do. Sounds like an interesting game. The boyfriend lurks over my shoulder, too. Oh, really? It's very fun so far, Siege. You have also been granted access to this might skew in, in PC program. flavor. Far Cry used to we be like that. that you submit, combat logs after destroying designated craft. submit combat logs. I am not here to do paperwork. Oh, cool. Okay. You have been invited to join Log Hunt, one of All Mine's mercenary support programs. Discover and destroy targets marked with the Log Hunt target. Icon to obtain combat logs for submission. Collect combat logs and improve your hunter class to receive reward parts from All Mind. Nice. Um, we're technically still on chapter one. I'm doing good entering the busy season, so it was hella productive today, which was really nice. Awesome to hear. Productivity is good. I was fairly productive today myself. And it felt, feels good. Feels like I can sit down and enjoy a new video game this evening. <laughs> I worked on stuff for a while today. Log hunt. I know some wood that can easily be found. <laughs> Shortle. Uh, I'm good. I'm trying to quit. Alright, we're just going to jump into the next mission. Sorry, guys, I had to get water. Raffle. Roughly. We got another, a new Hunt Showdown video coming out tomorrow on YouTube, and it's, um, uh, this one is the opposite of my last video, so. Any love you guys can show the video when it comes out tomorrow will be highly appreciated. All those early likes and comments and everything go a long ways. And I put a fair amount of work into this one, too. Another prestige worth of content, plus analytic gathering, and... Well, I put together, like, ten of my best tips for making money in Hunt, and presented them. Holy crap, Devi, you need a cold shower. So help me out, 
tomorrow we'll get that my my last video the big the big last hunt video got 6300 views on youtube so far and almost 100 comments so and i just hit 400 subs on youtube today so things are happening over there So I put a lot of work into this video too. Hopefully we can blow it up even bigger than the last video. Hopefully the hunt community enjoys it. Thanks for Bunnik. I bought all those accounts for you. <laughs> Thank you, Fuzzy. Appreciate it. Thank you, CG. Yeah, I've been working hard on my uh, trying to up my YouTube game, so it's slowly paying off. I want to hit 500 subs by the end of this month. That's my goal. See if we can do it. And I just got to keep making content because it seems to be resonating well and I'm getting better at video editing. Uh, let's go. Sortie, baby. Now they're asking for you by name. Keep building your rep. I want to spend a little more time on my coloring for my robot, but it looks really good. And there's voice in this is Chef's Kiss. Yeah, the voice acting is pretty sexy, I'd say. Main system activating combat mode. Everything everything sounds really good in this game. All the all the, the audio. And the music. Robot explosions. All of it. Sounds great, dude. Oh, that was unintentional slash. I always want to press left click to shoot. So it's kind of weird when you have to press a different button. Confirmed. Transport chopper down. Keep at it, 61. Yeah, the voice acting is very good, Jeff. It's not like annoying or intrusive either. Sometimes voice acting in these kinds of games can be like just too much. Like somebody's just constantly talking and you're like, shut the fuck up. But it's like just enough to keep you engaged. hit there. Gotta get back to the speediest little mechs I can make. Is that the kind of mechs you like to play, Robonic? Like, uh, fast. Trying to, like, dex, dex mechs. Dex mechs. TM. What am I being shot by? Oh, there's dudes over here. How you like them apples? Um, got a bunch of dudes over here, a bunch of dudes over here. This guy has inspired me. Ah. I was a little glass cannon, but I was fast as fuck, boy. Um, I don't know how to describe my mech because I don't really have anything for comparison and it's kind of too early on. Can't really say that I'm much of anything in any specific way. It seems very average so far. But then again, I like I said, I think it's too early for me to tell what kind of mech I'm working with. It's just like the basic ass, basic vanilla mech. Yeah, once I've gotten through a few missions and actually have some idea of what it is I'm doing, because that's kind of the learning curve too, is like, I don't know what to build for. I guess there's like speed, durability, or damage. Those are probably your three main core components. Let's go, Fuzzy. Fight back. I think it's it comes down to like you know whatever works for your your play style more or less. Tetrapod. 
Ow. Two repair, kits remaining. repair off that one. Oh boy. You get a lot of options without going into it too much. Ooh, shit. Uh, how about I destroy this tetrapod? How's that sound? Oh my god. Uh -oh. I feel like I might have met my match here. I feel like challenging this guy is a bad idea, right? He's... Dude, he's whooping my ass. Maybe we destroy these so we have the option of leaving. If we need it. Looks like you got them all. Oh my god. Mini boss, let's go. Dude, he hits like a truck. Okay, they're gonna cut the mission off because I. Oi. That is a big sword. Dude, that guy hit like a truck. That guy fucked my shit up. <laughs> yeah, I kind of was like, I should stay on the mission because he seems like he's too tough. I see you're back, they did advise me not to fight him. I'm sure it's definitely possible, right? But... Their coral survey. but to the Rubiconians, your actions are only helping the corpse with their invasion. It's just a job, 621. I didn't notice him at first and got nuked first time. Like, uh, he killed you? Um, parts shop. What's an FCS? I was at full health and I got sorted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fire control system. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Fuzzy. He missile me down to like one quarter health and I didn't realize how tanky he was and then he cut my face off. That's the way it goes sometimes. Second generation booster. Do I have a booster? Oh, I do. Expansion. BSTG1. BSTG2. Technically better, but quite a bit heavier. Um... Generator. Wow, the recharge on that generator is really nice. It almost doubles my recharge and my supply recovery. Uh, substantial weight increase. Doesn't seem terrible. I might have to go for that. Making decisions on what to buy is, that's a tricky thing in this game. Cause you're like, what am I doing? Like, what am I building for? I'm gonna buy this one. How do I get the shield thing? Pulse shield, right? All right, so we got a shield now. 
Um, pulse shield and this generator seems like good. See how it feels. I know you can try it out in the combat simulator, but destroy the tester AC. Okay. Let's just take it out for a rip. Let's just go for it. Another way to equip the shield is to give me your credit card number, to expiry, and code on the back. This request comes from Schneider of the I've already had my credit card stolen once in the last two months. Duffum, I think that's enough for me, Jeff. With Balaam, has a new tester, AC. Nothing like field testing in an actual battle, an right? Then you really know if it works, because it's combat tested. Yeah, well, that Which sucks. Yeah, I actually did have my credit card stolen. Of the tester AC and destroy it. The archivist group looks forward to news of your success. Not Anything like over? physically stolen, it's but like hunting. somebody, there's a leak online somewhere, and my credit card company was like, "Hey, you're not from Guatemala, are you?" I was like, "No." <laughs> Aggressive stress testing. Got to get that safety factor up. Yeah, if it if you if it gets you through the battle, then likely you made the right choice. If I die and lose the mission, then I know I made the wrong choice. Yeah, it was dumb. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. But they didn't charge me for anything. The person apparently went on a little bit of a shopping spree, but I didn't get charged for any of it, so that was nice. Dude, look at that drip, though. Fuck yeah, dude. Now's the time, six two one. We're looking fucking good. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Ooh. Dude, that energy recovery. Oh, shit. Is that the dude? Is that my boy? That pilot's just a trainee on delivery duty, but don't let your guard down. Oh, we don't let our guard down here. He's just a trainee. Get shit on. Oh, I missed. No. He's just a trainee. Yeah, the TD Canada Trust uh, has some really good. Oh my god. Okay, so I have to keep using the corners to avoid those lock on missiles. Because that was brutal. It hits like a truck. Oh, he's a bastard. He's over half dead now. Hells yeah, Stylin. You gotta look good. You gotta look good. Stream colors, obviously. Oh, you can't hide from me. Oh, I keep forgetting about my shield, honestly.
one on one fights in this are so hardcore. Dude, that was fun. This is where I VoIP over the dead body and talk shit, right? <laughs> That's where I'd be like, your mom! <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Nice, dude. Log hunt program process. Dude, that was cool. I like the one-on-one -on -one fights. Very freaking cool. Well, 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 Handler Walker. The way your hound's been up in my business, I'm surprised you'd even dare to call. Michigan, about my proposal. Yeah, you sure about that? I'll be working your hound just as hard as any other red gun. Gen 4s can be emotionally withdrawn. They need a shot in the arm every now and then. And you got a deal. I'll send Volton Iguasu. Are there like, uh, like, do I go out? Don't, don't tell me, I guess. I was going to say, are there like missions where I go with other pilots and we do shit as a group? Or is it always One solo? No comment. <laughs> okay. Spoilers back. Totally fair, guys. Now you're messing with son of a bitch. What can we upgrade? Bye. I wonder if it's better to save for stuff. Arms load limit. AP goes down a little bit. But firearm specialization is really nice. Focus on the mission at hand, corporate rat. Stay in your lane. All right, all right. Calm down, everyone. Jeez. Uh, head, arms, core. Yeah, let's try that one out. I don't know. I don't even know. We're just trying different stuff. I'm a spoil. No, no, no. Be distracted by the raffle instead. Be distracted by the raffle instead. That's what you need. Exclamation join. Don't spoil anything. All right, missions. Attack the damn complex, CJ. Let's go. Got a job for you, six two one. You're joining an operation planned by Balam HQ. A gerb. Heard the good news from Walter, did ya? Blah 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 blah. blah. Come, sit your ass down and listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. On the Gallia Dam complex, one of the Liberation Front's bases. Okay. The objective is to destroy their lifeline and make those sacks of shit beg for mercy. Hell yeah, brother. I'll be sending two good for nothing maggots from the Red Guns Gun 4 Volta and Gun 5 Iguasu. Some homies. Two, you're just going to be tagging along on ass wiping duty. I'm all good with that. Fuck yeah. Sound off. Uh, Pua? Go get ready. We're going on a field trip, kiddo. I'm into it. Take me away. Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. Don't let the red guns teach you bad manners.
I get excited. I'm like, what's this mission going to be like? Ooh, combat. snow? Dude, these guys don't even have matching drip. They don't even have matching drip. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize I was that close to having um, teammates, but here we are. Holy crap. Dude, we're effing it up. We're effing it up with the boys. Dude, I love the quick regen on this um, booster. So handy. Friendos are friendy. Good job, Friendos. Oh, that was bad. Dude, I just Goomba stomped that guy. Goomba stomped. That was just the warm up. Look at that, maggots. Right, all right. This is carnage. I'm loving it. Hope you're enjoying the field trip, kids. Don't wet your pants now. This guy is still Starship Troopers. Yeah, he's pretty he's pretty gung ho, and I'm loving it. I'm doing my part. Dude, these little trucks remind me of uh, Battletech. <laughs> that just get absolutely shit on. They don't even do anything. Zero damage so far. Zero damage run. Zero damage run inbound. Oh, I took damage. <laughs> Shit. Sense of scale in this game is incredible. Yeah. I The first time I noticed the sense of scale was when you first get outside of that first mission. And then you see the trees and you're like, oh, I am huge. That's when it clicks and you're like, damn, I'm like a big boy. Oh shit. Okay, alright, alright. You're so cool, all the teeny trucks you're stomping, yeah. Alright. This dude wants him. He wants it. He wants to die. Get smoked, buddy. Dude, he is getting shredded. Shut up. F1? Oh, come on, man. Nice. Now I emote and do the point down emote. Point down. No, man, I carried that fight. <laughs> tea, tea bag on him. 
Crouch stand, crouch stand, crouch stand. That's the Elden Ring way. Wait, I'm running out of ammunition? Is that a thing? Can you run out of ammo? And run an ammo? Oh, I didn't know that. GG, baby. GG. Log hunt program process. Nice. Thank you, Jeff. That was a fun little mission. It's pretty satisfying. One, two, I love fighting against the other mech dudes, the other ACs. I think those that's the most fun so far is when you're fighting against other ACs, you're like, oh, this is cool. I shall. Super engaging, for sure. Surprised how much I love those one-on-one -on -one AI fights. They made them so fun. Um, any other? I wonder what we should get for an upgrade. Eh, I might save my money for a bit. No need to go on like a spending spree. Save for like some really good stuff. Quite a bit of stuff for sale. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more. Destroy the weaponized mining ship. Ooh. This is like a desert desert map. The missions are all sort of short, too, I noticed. Like, not super short, but they're like between like four and eight minutes. Like, not incredibly long, right? This request comes from Schneider. Nice. We're going to take down a mining ship? Oh, cool. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Interesting. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Game's really generous with switching up builds. I like that. I like being able to experiment. And you don't feel as... as constricted as uh, like Dark Souls where once you sort of commit to a build it's like I'm a dex guy or I'm a strength guy or I'm a mage this mission is you'll see I'm scared I'm gonna save my guy I don't think I saved in a bit, so. Smash the Strider, and Archivist HQ will be sure to remember your name. Oh boy. Time to go smashing. It's smashing time. Main system activating combat mode. Ooh. All right. Dude, this is cool. An unidentified AC. Must be one of the corporations go. Activate the eye. Burn them away. Burn them away? Uh oh. That doesn't seem good. What the shit? What happened? Two repair kits. Picking up a surge of energy to the eye. Dude. Watch out. Oh my god. 
Oh, that's what hit me. Okay, well that makes sense, but also is scary. Got it. Take out the leg. Dude, this thing is humongous. What the shit? Run like the wind. Dude, this thing is freaking huge. Jeff, this is also like another reason why I legitimately feel like you should play near. I think you're really going to like Nier if you like this game. Confirmed. Strider leg compromised. It's going down. Holy crap, man. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. This is wild, dude. What the hell? <laughs> All right, now we've got a foothold to get on the deck. Dude, this is insane. Get to work on the sub generators. This is so epic. What the actual heck? The most epic thing ever. Yeah. This thing is massive, dude. It's like the size of a planet. This is absolutely wild. Replay, I like putting on speed metal or Eurobeat and just zooming around the laser. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Very metal. Oh shit, dude. Dude, you do not want to get hit by that laser. Uh oh. I'm losing losing altitude here. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, that fuck. I hate this mission. Really? It's kind of tricky because you sort of got to navigate this like giant mining ship thing. And that alone is kind of difficult. I just wanted to say the opposite of Jeff. Oh. Wait, have you played this game, Fuzzy? You haven't, right? Um. Shit. Shit, dude. What the fuck, man? Dude, what the fuck are you supposed to do about that laser? Ow. Holy cow. The old FPS is taking a bit of a hit on this mission. It's pretty intense. Just one left. Is the flagship of our war. It's kind of getting stuttery. But my FPS is still decent. All sub generators destroyed. The ice shield is off. Grande taco. Navigation is a bit janky here, but worth it. Hence why the eye and hate were case. I haven't finished yet. Ah, okay. So you have played it. Grande taco. I had some rough stuttering in this. Is it specifically this mission? It's been totally smooth up until this one section. Oh, oh no, come on. Christ, man. Hey, Delaker, what's up, dude? No. Oh, God. I have to find these things everywhere. 
And then it's going to launch me right into the eye of the laser. And I'm going to die. I'm doing all right, Delica. Checking out Armor Core 6. It's a fucking dope game. Oh, no. Dude, not good. Not good. Can't remember it happening in other missions much. Specifically just this one? Okay, well, that's not so bad then. <laughs> Peekaboo. Am I safe here? Peekaboo. If I get hit by that laser one more time, it's over. So, kind of don't have much of a choice but to play like this. Dragon's Dogma 2 Hardcore? Like hardcore difficulty or just hardcore playing a lot? I'm like freaking Luke Skywalker taking this thing down, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Why did I do that? Ooh. Hardcore playing a lot. Playing a lot is what I assume. I thought maybe there was like a hardcore mode or something. Like, you know, like Diablo or whatever has hardcore mode or... All right. Well, like all that energy was sucking up has nowhere to go. Almost died. Move six to one. You need to get clear of the strider. Uh, okay. I'll try. I probably should go off to the side, dude. Is this thing gonna explode? Are we gonna die? Run! <laughs> Oh my god! Cool guys, don't look at explosions. They turn around and they walk away. Dude, what the heck? That was unbelievably huge. Are you enjoying a, a Seto Corsa? It's fun. It's a good time. I'm doing some sick drifts. Yeah, I got I got murdered a bunch there by that laser, but if I had to do that mission again, I would approach it a lot differently, knowing that the laser can't penetrate anything. You must be the handler, I presume. I was wild. That is like one of my favorite things. I love it so much, even with the navigation shank in that mission. Hardly qualifies you. Yeah, I, it's those like uh, the things that like the catapults, right? Like you gotta you take advantage of those if you know where they are. I did that mission like 20 times. I liked it so much. It was sick. That was sick. I can't believe how big that thing was. All the sand effects too when it like falls down like all the how do you describe it like the dirt clouds <laughs> looks so cool this is like the perfect game to play on the new graphics card too because it looks so good one new message the mission set dressing is incredible yeah it's be it's Raven, from software Strider killed it What else is new? Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Archivist Group's mercenary liaison. V8 Pater, at your service. Hello, Pater. I think I'll enjoy doing business with you. 
new effects are incredible. I love them so much. Yeah. I bet, Jeff. You're probably, like, picking them apart, being like, how the hell did they do that, you know? New exercise data added to training. All right. New parts available for purchase. Um, let's go check out that training mission. Intermediate support. Assembling an AC. Combat mode activated. One way to assemble an AC is to install ranged weapons to both ends. This is known as the double trigger style among veteran pilots. Double trigger assemblies using machine guns or similar weapons can destroy enemies at a reliable pace. Suited for taking on multiple enemies at once. Oh yeah, we're going to Kimbo, baby. Let's go, <laughs> dude. Dude, who needs a sword? Grab your dualies and get ready to party, my guy. AC is greatly influenced by its overall weight and the type of boosters installed. AC is fitted with boosters and have a short QB reload time, which allows it to outspace enemies with a consecutive quick boost usage. Ah. So you just be like, boom, can't hit me. You love it so much. Why don't you marry it? <laughs> Generate and salty AC greatly influences the rest of the assembly from the selection of the useful parts to the basic performance of the AC. The AC is equipped with a generator that prioritizes EN capacity in order to allow extensive use of aerial maneuvers and use. I have a game I really like is where I don't pick the tech apart much, and this was definitely one of those folks at work were asking me about tech stuff, and I was like, explosions! <laughs> Dooley's were my main. Oh, really? 1 800 Dooley's? Install to the AC affects target tracking at close, medium, long range, and missile lock on, multi lock time. AC is equipped with an FCS that's specialized for very close range combat, allowing it to reliably land attacks with its higher firepower weapons. Oops. Yo, that's my number. 1-800 Dooley's? Shit. <laughs> Dude, I like this little mech, though. It's, like, pretty, like, maneuverable. Weapons and selection of parts used to assemble AC. AC is equipped with four ranged weapons to specialize in contrary to fire at medium range. What do you do against shields, though? Like... Missiles, I guess? <laughs> Yo, that's my number. Dude, I wish you could just change your number to a 1-800 number. New booster? Uh, new fire control system? New Jenny? So we should do the other training mission. Reverse jointed ACs. Interesting. Uh, reverse joint leg units excel at jumping and can also leverage their leg strength to improve quick boosts. These leg units are also capable of high jumps that do not consume EN, making it easier to achieve aerial retreats, shift to aerial combat. So this is all about, oh, fuck. Oh. Left shoulder grenade cannon on this AZ fires explosive rounds that cause area damage upon impact. Using weapons as an issue, you can display area damage to create effect by firing at the ground from an aerial position. Oh yeah, definitely. Yep, I can see how that works. I see how that works. Missiles or get behind slash above them. Maneuverability, I guess, is where that comes into play if you don't have a sword. Weapons fall into one of three damage 
categories, kinetic, explosive, and energy. The defensive performance of ACs and other craft varies for each of these damage types, determining their susceptibility or resistance. This specific mech has a lot of shit going on. Energy weapons produce heat when fired. This can ultimately result in overheating. Overheated, the weapon will be temporarily disabled. Functionality will be regained once the weapon has been allowed to cool or avoid overheating by monitoring your fire rate. I don't even know where the overheat thing is. Is that the red bar that builds up on your weapon? On one of those, like, circles? I don't even know. Carrying the shoulder cannon go off, you're getting traumatic flashbacks. <laughs> Ricocheting will occur when enemies have high defense, significantly reducing the damage they take. Try attacking at closer range or switch to explosive weapons. Releasing the beast here, man. This is like the all-arounder bot. It just does a little bit of everything. It has like kinetic damage, explosive damage, missiles, and like grenades, and like everything. Laser, laser beams. So we just got a bunch of new weapons. Got a new generator. We got a new FCS. Uh, that does not help with my long range at all. What else did we get? Oh yeah, we got the new booster. Um, boost speed increased. Upward thrust slightly down. But everything else gets a big boost. Our weight would go up a decent amount though. And our energy, energy load. So I'm not sure if I want to use that. Let's just not do that yet. Close range shotgun. Oh, that's cool. Laser rifle. About 417,000 credits. Or comb, or whatever they call it. Um... Attitude stability, AP increase, slight weight increase. Those are some thick boy legs. This one's a nice balance. Thinking about kind of going for like a balanced sort of loadout. Those were expensive. Hopefully they're good. I just spent my armored core life savings on these legs. Got 100k left. Uh, I'm broke. Haven't changed up my weapons a whole lot. Probably won't yet much.
All right. Uh, Operation Cucumber. Assist the assault on the Rubicon Liberation Front. Stronghold. Destroy the Juggernaut Heavy Mobile Artillery Platform. Mid-route rendezvous with friendly craft. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Trying out different builds is a good way to go. You'll never know when you might want to swap in slash out that part later. Good to have options. They want you to assist with a mission. The corporations are calling. Yeah, maybe I'm like, damn, I need like all the speed for this mission, or damn, I need to be able to tank. I think it's definitely gonna come down to that, Jeff, where I'm like trying to decide to be to what is important for which mission. You will be attacking the wall, a key trading outpost fortified by the Rubicon Liberation Front. The rabble have formed a defensive line comprised of artillery and MT squads. Break through the line, then make your way to the top of the wall. There you shall find the Juggernaut, a mobile heavy artillery platform. Uh -oh. Destroy it. Okay. Participating in this mission, infiltrating through a separate route. However, be aware that Balaam has also taken a crack at the wall, only for their vainglorious hopes to be dashed. Hmm. Do try not to die like a dog out there. Woof woof, baby. I mean, I'm obviously gonna try not to die. What a thing to say. Your objective no is faith, to take the these people. Front. No faith. Not an ounce of faith. Snail is an ass. Yeah, what a condescending jerk. Ooh. Oh. Please, juggernaut nuts. How dare you? Also, thank you. Also, thank you, Jeff. You're very kind. Just my graphic settings. Um, I don't know. I just kind of set everything medium-ish. I don't know. It seems really nice. I'm not going to change anything. It's running great. Oh, man. The backdrops in this game are sexy. Oh, what? That's a good guy. Oh, okay. Can I restart? I'm very much enjoying watching you playing this. Nice. I'm glad. It's a lot of fun. I'm glad I got this game. I have no regrets about it so far. It's a lot of fun. I knew I was going to like it, but... It very much reminds me of, like, the PS3 era of gaming that I really enjoyed. Just, oh my god, man. Okay, then. Watch out for this, like, dude shooting a giant cannon. Oh my god. It's kind of fucked. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Uh, <laughs> the turrets in this level don't fuck around. Yeah, what on earth? Beep, beep. Yeah, you hear the beep and you're like, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh. Watch out for cover. Go straight in. Oh, yeah, I definitely didn't make good decisions there. I definitely uh, made no good decisions whatsoever. Want some of this? Want a little of this, huh? I don't, I don't know. This isn't a, this mission's a step up, I think, from what we were already doing. So it would seem. This seems like a step up for sure. Okay. I just.
this here. Beep, 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 beep. This one is trouble with capital T bag. Were there any missions, Jeff, where you were just like, fuck this? Like, who designed this pile of garbage? At any point? Oh, no. Nice. What about you, Robotic? Was there any point where you were just like, this is too hard? I need to upgrade. One AC. I'm like the John Wick of ACs. It's just one guy. Dude, how many freaking Gatling cannons are there? Holy man. I feel like there's an out of context something or other co code. Oh, it's a YouTube thing. I thought it was a clip. One or two that tilted the hell out of me, but never Sekiro. Okay, never Sekiro levels. Two in particular that are insane and extremely frustrating for me and the build I was working with. One that fed the build was fucking hype. If you want to get a weird glimpse into Goofy JavaScript, I meant to send that in Discord, but I had this input focus, so both. Uh, well, you know, there's other people here that might want to see a glimpse, a goofy glimpse into JavaScript stuff. Send it to me on Discord, too, though. That is always good. <laughs> that is also good. I just want to get rid of these artillery before I focus on that tetrapod, right? Does that make sense to everyone else? I definitely don't think I should take on that tetrapod while all these cannons are firing down on me. Seems like straight up death if I do that. Alright. Now we can focus. Uh oh. I gotta stop tapping right, right click or left click when I'm meaning to like shoot. Get him! Shoot him! Main one that fucked me up taught me to change up mechs, weapons, and tactics, but I feel like it was a bit too hard. Really? Hey, what's going on here? Video record extracted from a wreck. An incomplete message sent from one member of the Red Guns to another, apparently just before death. Iguazu, I'm telling you, man, you gotta give Michigan a chance. He's different from the sweets suits at HQ. Look, I know he's an asshole, but he's looking out for us, you know? Almost like we got a family here. Man, if there's anyone who deserves punching out, it's the freaks who sent us on this suicide mission. You picked a good day to go AWOL. I had to take a break from it? Oh, shit. Okay. So I'm in for some good times, then. Eh, I like a challenge. I like a good challenge. I like to die. No, stop doing that. Oh, there's still a Gatling cannon up there. I'm going to have to get rid of that. And we'll focus on the tetrapod. All 
All right, bitch, you and me. Oof, that hurt. Oof. What the heck? He's smart, dude. He dashed away from me as I dashed towards him. Got this though. You're done, buddy. You're done. Most MT eliminated. You'll have fun with all of it, I think, Sky. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it, Robotic. This is a lot of fun already. Big challenge, you won't be unhappy you face worse. Yes, I've definitely faced some shitty times. God of War Ragnarok on hardest difficulty? That was tough. Dark Souls, Demon Souls, level one? That was tough. Okay. Ragnarok told me way more than even Sekiro. Yeah, it was frustrating. I was so committed to the hardest difficulty too. I was just like, no, I'm doing this. I hate myself. Buddy Rusty, the goodest boy. <laughs> the goodest of good boys. Yeah, there's a, they, didn't they, wasn't there a, didn't they say there was going to be a, oh fuck, I messed that up bad. They said it was going to be a, what do you call it, trilogy? That's the word I'm looking for. I thought I heard that somewhere. Maybe I just imagined that. 30% ammo? Not good, bro. I've been meaning to go back and revisit Ragnarok and do like the new content and finish up all the other stuff I have to do in the game. I feel like I'll be really rusty at it now though. Like I'll have a tough time even remembering how to play. Dude, this mech is hot, bro. <laughs> I need to do that, but it is so hard. Yeah, I even dropped my difficulty down one notch because I was like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. And I was just trying to do stuff. And if I was really struggling on a Berserker, I was like, nah, I'll go down another notch and then bring it back up after because I did not like have fun with some of those Berserkers. I think I only fought like five. Supplies replenished. Let's get in that. Get in it. <laughs> yeah, eight and a half hours. Yeah. One of the infamous handler Walter's hounds. Don't know how you did that, Jeff. Don't know how you put up with that. Oh boy. I don't think I have any repair kits left, honestly. This has been kind of rough. Oh, I got my repair kits back because of the resupply. Oh, 
that was nice. That was a good connection. Clapping him. Let's stay behind this guy. Can finish without you, bro. No problem. You got it. Get away from the wall, my guy. Nope, zero damage. Oh, this is rough. I kind of needed your help, man. Why did you ditch me? Okay, this was all good until my homie left me. What the fuck kind of partner is that? <laughs> all right, we're dead. Uh, I really wanted to like God of War. I need to go back to see if it clicks now. Everything about that game is something I should like, so I'm hoping it was just my mood at the time. Oh, sorry to hear that, Robotnik. Appropriate difficulty for the love of Kratos is very good. Just some balance issues, in my opinion. Yeah, playing on the hardest difficulty is rough in that game. You just die in two hits from everything. If you beat that first try, I would have been upset. You almost did. Oh, Jesus Christ. The, uh... It was all good until my homie left. I was having no issues. And then he was like, Yeah, I'm just gonna go. You fucking... You got this, man. I clearly did not got this. I clearly did not got this. Oh shit. I love how you can pull that off. You can just like jump over top of him and just be like Slice. Understood. I don't know what the trick is for this part. He just like dodges out of your way. the stamina juice oh come on oh that was close good night juggernaut Man, we got him. Operation Wall Climber complete. Bling. 
from Mind Alpha. It took me at least four or five attempts. Well, you know me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> One new message. <laughs> Rusty's a good boy, apparently. I'll take your word for it, Robonix. I, I trust I your opinion. You to clear the way so that the Vespers could step in and take over. But instead, you took the wall. The higher-ups are going to remember you now. That was a fun mission. Sure. A little bit trickier. It's I. you can see the, the difficulty of like 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 uh what is it called? Armament placement and stuff like that, like gallon guns and stuff like that, where they place them, it's like this is rough. It's so wide open and you're getting hit by this like giant laser New parts are now available for purchase. Hell yeah. Came back, did the level taking no damage like five times when I had all the parts. Nice. Impressive, actually. Because that, that mission was pretty tough to not take damage on. Tetrapod leg units have high loading capacity, enable AC builds equipped with multiple heavy weapons. Tetrapod's ACs can switch to hover mode after ascending off from the ground, allowing them to remain suspended. Oh, wow. Uh, space. Oh, you just tap it. Got it. Gives you good cash, that mission. Yeah, I think I got $400,000 for just like... This is how hover mode fucking destroys the big garbage truck. Ah, because you can just like hover, right? You don't have to worry about touching down all the time. Charge attacks and fire from heavy weapons such as grenade launchers cause more recoil than other attacks, forcing the AC to assume a firing stance. Tetrapods are capable of absorbing this kind of recoil and there's attacks to be executed during movement. Hell yeah. You sit above it and it can't hit you? You're just like, haha, sucker. I have permanent flight. Can't hit me if you wanted to. All right. Hover mode allows you to maintain a high altitude and turn making it easier to establish a line of fire and lock on without geographical obstruction. Basically, you're wet. No Can't hit me, M bird. M robot bird. Can't avoid the wetness, Chris. Also, what's up? I haven't made your new command yet. I will sometime in the next day or two. <laughs> What's up? Someday. Somehow. Alright, I'm not sure I love tetrapods. They're kind of clunky feeling. I love how they don't unlock OP stuff for that boss until afterwards. Gives you some incentive to come back. Yeah, absolutely. I, I kind of want the grenade launcher. Is that normal? Did you guys feel that way? The grenade launcher seems real strong. I'm violently sleepy. The entire day has been full of panic inducing news. Oh no. Oh, we're sorry to hear that. What can we do to help? Just chill. Enjoy some uh, armored core. Tank leg units are heavily armored and boast excellent loading capacity. In addition to lending themselves to highly durable builds, they are also good candidates for high firepower assemblies. Tank type ECs are capable of absorbing recoil, which allows them to fire heavy stance weapons without entering firing stance. Holy shit. We got the heavy MGs, dude. Why are you killing your enemies instead of using spirited debate? I'm not much of a debater. That's why. Dude, the tanks are literal tanks. You just roll around and hold down all the buttons. 
This is like the no brain build. Can drift to quickly change the direction they are facing, execute a drift, and then quick boost. Boost movement on. Nice. Can I like slam into a dude? Oh, dude, you don't want to slam into dudes. Drift mode engaged. Tokyo Drift, baby! Alright, this is kind of cool. You just sort of hop. You're kind of taking a lot of damage here. This acceleration is order. One of the most mild bits of news is I'm going to dinner in a couple weeks with Honeywell, and it'll be a few thousand dollars for four of us. Honeywell, like the people that make the fans. Also, other stuff, probably. <laughs> the tank is kind of funny because you are just a tank and you just kind of drift around. I'm like, I'm just like tapping Q and E while holding down left and right click. Like, that's my strats. That's the tank strat. Vertical missile launcher, nice. Exercise data added to training. Another new one? Advanced mercenary certification. Uh, advanced mercenary simulators provided by all mine. Assemble your own AC and complete evaluation. I just slide around and tank. It is a fun time. Very clunky, but fun. Did you use the tank? Uh, they make extremely large number of very expensive airplane things like engines, generators, and missile guidance systems, or just like plane guidance systems. During real missions, you can expect enemy reinforcements and other changes to the situation. The test of an advanced mercenary is in their ability to adjust to a wide range of combat scenarios and adapt their AC assembly to meet the needs of the missions. Well... Don't expect a whole lot of adapting from me. I don't have... much to adapt with here. Oh, those guys got shields. Nice. Some levels really suited the tank, so yeah, kind of use every type of thing in this game. So did you guys... Okay, so here's a question. Did you guys build multiple ACs and just, like, swap between them interchangeably? Is that, like, a big... Did you guys spend a lot of time doing that? I noticed how you can, like, save ACs, right? Ow. This dude is a bastard. First time I didn't because I was stubborn. Second time, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, this tetrapod is actually getting kind of whooped, though. Ow. GG, bro. Oh, now we're fighting a uh, actual AC, though. Damn, he's little. He's like my size. Oh, that hurt. He did not like that. Good night, Robotnik. Thanks for hanging out, dude. 
I hope the meeting goes well tomorrow. Glad you could make it for the first AC stream. We will be playing it more. Five AC presets, most of the time with two of them, and I swap weapons occasionally. Took me a while to start doing that. Nice. Training complete. Little guys are tough. Yeah, he's he's I had more tough with the tetrapod, I think. Congratulations on your certification. Because of the shields, right? You have proven your skills by completing the entire combat training regiment. Yes, we did. Registration number Yes, we did. Call sign Raven. All mind anticipates excellent performance. Nice. You have completed the entire training program. Emblem acquired. A small reward for a job well done. Hmm. Homing missile launcher. That seems kind of strong. Uh, vertical missile launcher. A lot of rounds on that one. I do be feeling like I want to swap, switch up my shit. I'm going to get the... This missile launcher? No. Actually. I don't even know. Decisions are hard. Oh, hey, before I forget, yes, tell me, tell me the things. Plasma missiles. I don't know, maybe. Damn, that the vertical missiles weigh a shit ton. Kind of want to get this one, this smaller version of the vertical missile. Let's try it. Yes, I... Yes, more or less, Chris. More or less, yeah. Pulse buckler? What if we put the dual missile launcher instead of the the shield? Then we just like have a lot of missiles all the time. How fucking cool would that be? That sounds cool as hell. Um, let's try this booster. All right, let's give all that a shot. Other level two account manager maker was leaving two weeks, so we're gonna hire someone new and I'll be basically supervising the level one account manager and the new person when my boss travels. My boss made it very clear when she moves up to VP, I'll be stepping into a role as the director of sales. I nearly passed out hearing that. Dude, nice. That's a big that's a big fat dub. Is that something you're excited for? I 
guess more money, right? But lots more responsibility. Okay, we're gonna try that thruster. And that was the vertical missile thingy. And we want the dual missile thingy. I'm gonna hang on to the sword for now. Wait, we could get a grenade launcher. We could switch it up. I don't know, the sword's pretty nice. Current EN loadout's in the red. I don't think we can deal with that. Hmm. We would need to swap back to this. Or that. Rubicon was actually the friends we set on fire along the way. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> What's up, cat? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Damn, so I need to... That's why I need to... Ha it's kind of neat having a bunch of different parts. Sometimes you swap out a crafter thing to put a cooler thing on another part. Yeah, I need a thing from the parts shop to boost my... I guess it would be generator, right? Right, Jeff? I need to get a bigger generator to be able to put more stuff on. I presume... Is that the one I just bought? That recharge is real nice, but... That would put me back in the... Green, so to speak. How are you, cat? At fucking 27, it's a little nerve-wracking, considering it's a minimum 30 to 40k bump in pay and even bigger commission bonuses. Also, extra considering the next youngest director is, like, 42. Yikes. You'll be fine. You excel in these things. Kind of need having a bunch of different parts. Sometimes you swap out crappier, put a cooler thing. Here they are pricey. Well, hang on. Can I do what I wanted to do now? I can put the grenade launcher on. Dude, that puts my weight at 4,800, though. It makes my robot look like an idiot. Alright, we'll keep it as is, then. The mind alpha. It's an AP increase. Do you like the, the color choices, Cat? I went with stream colors, obviously. Obviously. Like, I want to try different things, but... I'm getting pretty comfy with my current gun. And... Makes me not want to try new things. Alright, let's... Tell you what. Let's stick with this for now. See how she performs. We got the tank bottom now. Um, let's just go on a mission. Let's just... I could fuck around all day. I don't really have the money for it. Just get out there in the wild world. The Balaam companies has put in a request. Attention, gun 13 Raven. With the raffle, exclamation join. Get up in there. Conducting an investigation into the Vespers. Get up Marcus in that raffle. Human squad. Currently, our focus is on their fourth squad leader, V4 Rusty. Sweep the route, Rusty. 
trust he took during Operation Wall Climber and retrieve combat logs from the wrecks he left on his way in. Wall is now under Archivist's control. They station their MT squads there for the Coral Survey. Exclamation As lead such, cat win? He'll be targeting the brief window where their main force is deployed elsewhere. This bodes well. Keep an eye on the time and retrieve as many logs as you can. That concludes the briefing. Aye, aye. We expect prompt results, Gun 13. Mission begin. Yeah, it's going to be... I want I kind of want to have, like, a bunch of different mechs assembled and ready to go, Jeff. That sounds like fun. I really like that idea. Seems good, man. Main system activating combat mode. Activating combat mode. Mission. Shall we? Search the nearby racks for combat logs recording Oh, geez, three and a half rusty. minutes. Okay, we better get going. Am I supposed to be fighting shit? Seems like it's gonna be a lot harder to find I'm stuff if I'm. When Gears of War dating simulation is coming out. Jeff's working on that. He's the lead director. Is the chainsaw coming to play in the steamy scene? <laughs> Video record extracted from a wreck allows one to discern the assembly of V4 Rusty's AC steel haze. The steel haze appears to be assembled from a Schneider high mobility frame equipped with weapons that allow for swift, agile action. Notably, Rusty appears to favor kinetic weaponry that Vesper's members would not normally use. This is useful. We've okay. got visuals on V4's AC assembly. We gotta keep moving though. I'm I'm assuming that. This is going to be one of those kind of blitz style missions. Stop. What are you doing here? Looks like they're out scavenging. Analyzing log. I'm guessing we didn't get that in time. Oh, I keep forgetting that now I have dual missiles. Connected. Uh, video record extract from a wreck. Contains leftover data from an attempt to communicate with V4 Rusty during combat. How could you? I know who you are. I've seen Uncle's files. At least tell me why. Very interesting. This could be worth something. There's another one over here. Comms record extracted from a wreck. This appears to be a conversation between allies prior to the start of a mission. We can't beat the top Vespers. We're as good as dead. Liz Z is off duty. She's a Liberation Front's little sister. She doesn't deserve to be out there on the battlefield. She can still love and be loved. Have a family. Worthless. Hmm. So there's another... Another thingy somewhere? Shit, dude. Maybe I missed one in the beginning area. Oh no, it's down here. Keep an eye on the clock. Either avoid combat or make it quick. Uh oh. I can do one of those things. Analyzing. System log extracted from wreck allows one to examine the commands received by the craft prior to its destruction. 
No data regarding offensive or evasive maneuvers detected. It appears that the pilot of this craft immediately pulled the emergency eject lever to start the operation. Nothing we can sell here. Um, shit. Where do I want to go then? Not really too sure where to go. Did I miss anything up at the top? Uh oh. I think we're gonna run out of time. Something here. Allows one to examine the operation of the craft prior to its destruction. Log indicates FCS was operating at mass capacity, yet it was still unable to track the enemy. It was clearly overwhelmed by V's rusty speed. This was clearly a one-sided engagement. This gives us some more insight about V4 skills. Um, there must be something around here that I'm missing. Oh, I see it. Shit, hurry, 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 hurry. Analyzing. Maybe just barely get it. Appears to be the auto transcription from a voice log recorded by an off pilot off duty pilot. The well we found in Gallia is going to dry up sooner than later. We just can't harvest as much coral as we used to. What little we do get, the corpse squeeze out of us. They know we need it to raise mealworms. How many more children must we watch starve? Some more evidence on Hmm. We've got enough logs to satisfy the request. Okay. That's it for this job, 621. Return to base. Did I just barely complete it? Missed one on this first run too. I can't remember where. This is, uh obtained ten data logs. Oh. I got six that run. Oh well, it's complete now. I'm probably going to rip through uh, um, a few older that. other missions that, that I haven't done yet. Or that, sorry, that I've already done. I'll like redo some to farm out some gold, etc. There's a little optional mini boss. Oh, I missed it. I very much missed it. RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. Okay. Granting authorization to perform ACOS upgrades. Additional. All Mind hereby invites you to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. The Arena is a virtual combat simulator. Oh, is this what PVP? Of registered mercenaries. It also serves as a benchmark. To appraise and rank the mercenaries active on Rubicon. We look forward to your participation. I missed it first go and also failed and then missed it until New Game Plus. Following features are now available. OS tuning arena. Expend OST chips in your position to upgrade your AC's operating system from the operating system tuning menu. Uh, upgraded the OS unlocks features and improves functionality ost chips can be obtained in the arena not pvp but very fun boost kick oh sweet all right so it's just like a whole different thing for upgrading your mech fight virtual battles against copies of acs created using all mines mercenary craft data from the arena menu when arena battles to obtain OST chips, opponent AC data, and opponent emblems, you can use OST chips to perform OS upgrades. Um, sure. That's cool. So it's not PvP, but it's like a simulated well, idea of PvP, because it's like program. you're doing one versus one battles against bots and improving your mech. 
didn't use the training thingo all that much because I just kept playing arenas. Okay. Nice. This is dope. All right, dude. Dude, he's got a chainsaw. Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. Getting crapped on. <laughs> Bots of war. Target destroyed. Uh, yeah. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Freaking dominated, dude. <laughs> yes, very much owned. Oh, two OST chips. Nice. Got his. Got his footprint. OS tuning for AC shoulders, lying shoulder weapons to be replaced with additional hand weapons. Allows for manual reticle control, but practical usage calls for experience technique. Quick turn. Unlocks. Wow, there's so much stuff. Um, reduces damage from enemy attacks. I always went for the passives. Yeah, I was thinking about upgrading the... I was going to save my chips and go for... Direct hit damage increase. But there's also, like, just damage of all sorts there's like different types of damage and there's like various levels of it too we go until we can and then we go further <laughs> yeah that's dope as hell Rank F. Subject AC. So is there third twenty nine different arena Next challenges? Up. Is that how that works? Main Counting back from twenty nine. Nice. I like this arena better. Sometimes the vertical missiles seemingly miss a little bit. Maybe I should be locking on a bit better. And you're dead. GG. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. I am pink bot. Pink bot of doom. Faster enemies can dodge, even lock on missiles sometimes. Yeah, he was like decently fast. He wasn't like alarmingly difficult or anything. But yeah, I could see like the faster the enemies get, the more difficult it is to deal with their their bullshit. 
I'm going to increase direct hit damage. Upgrade your AC's OS. Let's go. All right, let's rock one more. I'm guessing you unlock these as you go through missions. Because it doesn't seem like they're all unlocked yet. Or am I going to unlock them as you go through them? Number 27, rank F. Final evaluation. Spoilers. Okay. Subject AC. Permit. Call sign. Gun I won't ask Red. questions. I don't even have questions. Main system. Activating combat mode. Oh, it's the desert. Where is he, though? Uh, hi. Wow. I have underestimated my opponent. He's actually kind of hurting me a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, you like that? You like that? All right. I I hear you. Uh oh. Ooh, that was a close one. GG, dude. They never let you blast or anything to get OP, so most stuff in this game is gated in some way or another, which I like because I felt like I was being too cheaty. Yeah, I like when they do that too, when you're kind of limited to how much you can grind, because then you don't want to just become overpower and, and breeze the game, right? Because it feels like if you get too powerful, then you're just like, oh, nothing's even a challenge anymore. It's nice to have that gating. I don't remember picking a difficulty either, so... I don't know that that's even a thing in the game. Hmm, good fight. That's that's a cool that's a cool mode. You can repeat them for like half the amount of money. Let's get boost kick. Boost kick sounds cool. Quick turn, 